and I frankly missed you know, living in Oregon and living in Corvallis. We loved it. We, we made the most of, of that move and, and enjoyed it. You know, there were lots of parts that were really, really good and good people. Uh, but, you know, I, this is kind of home for me. And uh, even though you've been around the circle in coaching, we all felt like that, especially Dee, I think, is really excited about being back. And there's, a, there's residuals for us that are special that have, uh, you know, something to do with the connection. But, you know, having daughter, son-in-law, grandkids here is also a real bonus for us. Something any, we really missed. Any second thoughts about, you know, can, can I really go home again? Did, did, yeah. did, did you have to weigh that when you decided whether I, or not to I've come? I've done it before, Ken, yeah. so <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't really. I thought, okay, I can do this for a third time. Uh, I, I didn't really. I, I had a couple other opportunities that were really intriguing to me. I'm so thankful that this timing came up because uh, this, this was a no-brainer for me, given the opportunity. And, and so... Uh, you know, if, if Jonathan wanted me and I told him, you know, that this has to be comfortable for him first, you know, that I, you know, when we first talked about it, I told him to think about it uh, and don't, and don't do it unless he felt good about it because it's a, probably a little bit unusual, but I knew it could work. And, uh, but I wanted him to be totally comfortable with it. This is, you know, this is a great time in his career and his life, so it had to be right. Uh, and if it was right for him, then this was going to be my choice if, if uh, given the opportunity. So, so what you, was, what you was he approached uh, Jonathan I first? I uh, approached him at first with the idea, think about this. He had asked me about some coaches, you know, recommendations. He called me before he took the job, I think. And, uh, and so we talked about that, and then I thought, the next time I talked to him, I said, hey, think about this, you know? And then I said, but don't tell me right now, think about it, and, and don't worry about my feelings, just make a decision based on what's good for you. How long did it take to, for him to get about back? About 24 hours, mm -hmm. and it was really positive, and so I was pleased with that, because I was just about having to make a decision about another place, and, uh, and so it, the timing of it was great. So when he was talking to you, not necessarily trying to obviously sell anything, but when yeah. he was explaining it to you, what were, what were his thoughts, his philosophies, and what was his direction he wanted to go? You know, I think that uh, I think the first thing he wanted to do, which is right on spot, uh, is get the right people here. You know, and, and these things are triggered by the combination of good people, smart, good evaluation, and recruitment and football coaching. You have to have all those things to make this thing work at, at any place. So, you know, he, he already knows that, and that, that's kind of philosophically what he was looking for. I know you're still listed as an assistant head coach without a position group yeah. assigned to you. Do you know what other responsibilities you're gonna have uh, under the staff? No, not really. You know, I, <clears throat> we talked about it <clears throat> quite a few different times uh, in general. I guess, you know, in, 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 in my background, I told him initially, just uh, I'll help wherever you want me to. You know, I've coached a lot of defense in my life. I've coached offensively, different spots. Uh, you know, so I basically told him, hire your staff and then plug me in wherever you, you need a, a guy at, at the end. And that's kind of what's taking shape right now. So, you know, whether it would be in the secondary or some spot on offense, I'm. I'm just willing to help and be a part of that group, and, and uh, I think that'll be any of it's, you know, fine with me because I've enjoyed coaching, yeah, in all those spots. We've already had some great talks, uh, you know, s staffing, you know, everything from the calendar, to what goes on in the year, how you put it all together, you know. So it's always it was always good for me to have somebody to talk to about those kinds of things. There's so many different parts. Uh, and, and so, like I said, you know, I have, I'll have a job to do specifically in football and in recruitment. Whatever else he wants to get from me, you know, I'm just part of the staff.